In this presentation, we will compare and contrast QuickBooks Desktop and QuickBooks Online. For more accounting information and accounting courses, visit our website at accountinginstruction.info. This will be a broad comparison. We're not going to get into all the details, but look at the major differences between the two. When purchasing QuickBooks, we have a couple different comparisons and a lot of options within the purchasing options. The first two major differences we want to consider is whether we want a cloud-based online version or whether we want a desktop version. So that's what we will consider now. Once we have that decision down, then there's going to be some more options that we can have. If we're going to have an online version, we can decide between the different types of packages within an online version. If we want the desktop version, then there's going to be some decisions in terms of what type of desktop version we would want. So the major decision first off would be, do I want a cloud-based system or do we want the desktop system? We're going to look at the broad differences between those two here. First difference is that QuickBooks Desktop is a one-time purchase, whereas QuickBooks Online is a subscription. The reason for that is the desktop version is something that we are going to download to the computer. So you can think of it as a software that we have on our computer. If you compare it to something like Microsoft Word or Excel, you can think of us actually putting those programs on uh, the computer and then using the software from there. As opposed to the online version, which of course is on the cloud. Whenever we work in the online version, we are on Intuit's uh, server. So we, we always need the internet connection. And we're also, of course, paying for storage in some case there because all of our data will then be not on our computer, but on the Intuit cloud. And therefore, we're going to be paying a subscription base either monthly or annually here. Whereas the QuickBooks, we're going to have the one time purchase. In terms of cost, we would think that the on the on ground version would be cheaper over time and the reason basically for that is that we're going to have that one time purchase which is comparable but also the one time purchase we could use that software for multiple years now quickbooks will update each year so uh, as they do so if we want to be completely up to date we would have to update each year typically however uh, you can use older softwares and they they work fairly well unless we need to, to uh, interchange that data file with newer versions of the software or something like that. But Intuit will also discontinue service for support after a few years. So uh, the one-time purchase will be good for at least a year, probably will be good for at least a few years uh, for most uh, companies. Next difference is that the desktop version can have multiple company files with one purchase of QuickBooks, whereas the online version, we must set up a new online account for each new company file. And again, you can see how this kind of derives from the fact that we're going to download this to the desktop. And we're on this case, we're going to be working in the cloud. If we download the computer to the desktop, you can think of it like if we had Microsoft Word and we downloaded the program, we can then start multiple company files within that program that we have and not have to pay any added charges just like we would in Word. And this is really, really helpful if, for example, we're a student and we want to study uh, multiple files. If we're working in multiple files, uh, we, we can use different company files and save them and work in them just as we would in, say, uh, or very similar to working in something like a Word document. We can close it, we can start a new one, we can start a new company, we can transfer data around to different files and, and work with it in that way. Whereas if we're in an online version, we're going to set up one company typically, and we want to work with that one company file all, all the way through. If we want to start up a new company file, either it be for just practice or testing, or whether it be for another company, then we're going to have to set up a new uh, company account on the cloud each time. This is also uh, something we really want to think about when we're if we're trying to be a if we're doing bookkeeping and we have multiple clients. How are those clients going to be set up? There's going to be pros and cons between these two uh, if we have multiple clients. If we have a client say that doesn't really want to be entering data, we're just going to enter all the data for that particular client and then provide them reports like the financial statements. Uh, copies of the financial statements uh, as data is needed, then the desktop version could be a lot cheaper to do that because 
Uh, we can have multiple files. We can have one QuickBooks version. We can have all the data within QuickBooks. We can set up multiple files uh, within the QuickBooks account and, uh, and work through all the bookkeeping and then print the reports and be able to provide the reports. So if that's the type of style of bookkeeping that we're doing, where, where we are entering all the data into the system, tracking that information, providing reports, then the desktop version can be very useful. However, if we have clients that want to enter the data on their side and then share it with us, then the online version can be useful. There's pros and cons either way, but the online version, of course, is easier to access online. So if, they, if we provide the uh, ability to access it from, say, us as the bookkeeper to the client, then we have easier shareability and we can actually set up a system and use an accountant's copy so that we can easily track uh, multiple clients and they can work on the file, we can work on it at the same time. Whereas on the desktop version, we would have to, to do that, we'd have to either get uh, access through the internet to the, to the desktop file or we can have backup files and we can, we can exchange backup files, which is, isn't a problem if it's done from time to time. We can have a static backup file provide it uh, to, to the client and exchange those, but it does add uh, a layer of confusion where, where data can be lost or uh, something can happen. Whereas if you're all working in the same file all the time, it could be a little less likely that you're going to lose data within that transaction. So that's going to be a major, major component. When we're working and studying uh, QuickBooks and we want to learn QuickBooks, this is a huge difference because the, the ability to be able to work in different files and start new files and test files and, and, and upload data and just, and just uh, work with it. Very useful. If we're, if we're have multiple company files that we're doing all the bookkeeping for, then the desktop version can be cheaper uh, to track that kind of information. We have static backup files with the desktop version versus data being stored on the Intuit service for online. Now there's pros and cons with this as well because the desktop version, these static backup files mean uh, the idea is just from a storing data standpoint is that the desktop version, our data isn't as secure on our computer as they are on the Intuit servers. We would think the Intuit servers are going to be able to uh, track the data all the time and, and make their copies and whatnot. And so it's unlikely that the data servers in Intuit are gonna lose all of our data. So therefore, uh, the, the Intuit servers on, on, uh, on the online version, we don't really have the option of the static backup files because the concept is that the Intuit servers are pretty reliable. Whereas if we have it on our desktop, we, we have the problem, of course, if, if there's a problem with our desktop, we lose the data. So we need a way to back up that data. So we can have these static backup files and we can back them up either to a, to another drive or we can back them up to a cloud base. So someplace where we can store the static backup files and we can't usually do that online, but that's okay. Oftentimes from a data storage standpoint, like if, are we going to lose our data? No, typically because the online is going to be on the cloud and into its server and into it's probably more reliable. Um, than, our, than our backup system, even if we have a pretty good one. On the other hand, again, the backup files are really useful for many different things. Uh, one is if we're a student and we're studying, we can, we can have static backup files. And that is great because it allows us to enter data up to a certain point in time, test that data, and then, um, and then work on something and be able to back up that data. So we can back up data at any point in time. Whereas the online version, the data is always being stored up to the current version. If I want to go back in time and see what happened a, a week ago, well, I can't do that as easily. I can't just, I couldn't have backed it up a week ago. All the data is always just current. So the, the desktop version allowing the backups allows us to, to do a lot more testing, whether we're a student trying to test or whether we're just testing what would happen if I, if I'm, if I'm trying to say what would is this the correct way to do something? Well, I can make a backup and I can try that test on a, on a different file without, without distorting the data on the main file, on our, on our primary file. And those are huge advantages as well. 
the the backup files being static is something also that we can provide to the accountant at the end of the year if we if we need to we can provide them with a, a static backup file and the accountant can then look at it and go through it without it affecting the current data so they can go into the backup file and not have to uh, do anything while the current users are are using the file on the other hand of course when we have that static backup file uh, the accountant is is working with data that's not in the system of of the current user so if we wanted to for example take data from a client file give it to the to the to the accountant to then work on uh, and then the accountant's going to give the data back say at the end of the year we're going to do the taxes then they would have to provide the backup file the accountant would have to do work and make sure that when they put the put the information back into the system that they don't delete any transactions so there can't be data so that, again we have that transfer problem whereas if it's an online uh, system then the accountant can just go in there online it's always working real time and therefore you don't have this kind of uh, if you're losing data within the transfer uh, system so again there's pros and cons to the static backup file but for learning, for looking at multiple files, for testing things, uh, these backup files are uh, really helpful from a, from a standpoint of storing data and losing data. The backup files are necessary for a desktop version so that we can make sure that our data is somewhere other than just our primary server to so that we have make sure we don't lose our data. The online version from a from a losing data standpoint is probably pretty secure given the fact that again our data is on into its servers which are which should they're probably doing a better job than even a pretty sophisticated system we can do on our on our own to back up that data uh, the look and feel is different from the desktop version than uh, the online version and for, for myself I, I'll show us the difference of that look and feel in a couple slides here I tend to like the the desktop version it might be because I'm used to it but it also has a navigation screen that I think is helpful to a lot of users especially new users or if you're trying to explain uh, the process to new users and we'll take a look at that in a second we also have the uh, download of bank transactions can take a little bit extra step meaning uh, a lot of times the online version one of the big points the selling points is the connection to the bank these days and and you can get automatically feeds from the bank to uh, your system now there that doesn't solve all of our problems with the bookkeeping so we still have to learn the bookkeeping because once we get that data downloaded from the bank we've got to then allocate it uh, and we have to know how the system works to allocate it so it doesn't really solve all of our problems like you might think at first but or you know when people first hear that we can just download the data from the bank uh, it seems like well that'll just do the whole thing but we still have to assign things out and know how to assign the transactions so that's that's one thing to keep in mind the the feed with the online version because it's online it's it's automatically connected can be a little more streamlined than uh, when we do that for the desktop version for the desktop version we may have to go in there and set up the feed and uh, and and re-update the feed uh, from a periodic basis or if we want it to be online all the time we might have to pay a fee to set up the online to have it happen all the time rather than us going in there and saying i want to download the bank feeds from a periodic standpoint so uh this the online version could be a little bit more streamlined with uh the automatic bank feeds going automatically from the bank into the checking account uh it's it's also could be more difficult of course to work from different locations with the desktop version and easier uh, with an online version so if we're someone that's going to work at the office and then we're going to work somewhere else and at home then it could be easier to to log in to the system and the cloud-based system now if you do that you, you got to be careful of course because we want to be careful with where we're logging into our you know our banking system and, and if that's connected to the to the the quickbooks and make sure that uh, we're you know we're in a secure location to uh, log on to the internet to go online whereas whereas if we're using the desktop and we're using a fixed computer in a fixed office place then um, you know it, it might be easier to use the desktop version in that case so uh, if one of our goals is going to be that we're going to be working in QuickBooks 
from multiple locations, then the online version could, could be helpful for that because, of course, anywhere where there's an internet connection, we can do so. Although, of course, again, we want to make sure that we're in locations dealing with banking systems that are as secure as they, they can be. Uh, whereas the, the desktop version, if we're always in one location and entering the data in one location, then the desktop version uh, works great. If we want to if we want to move around and do things like moving around, it's possible because we could do things like back up the files and then restore the files, or um, uh, set up the system that it, that it, that it will uh, locate our computer. We can we can pay a little bit more to automate you know the system uh, in that format, and that's possible to do. But from just setting it up from easily, starting and going, then uh, it's easier to move around location to location with the online version. Here's just a, a quick view of the two different layouts. So here's the online version. Uh, you can see that most of the, the data is here. We can enter data with this ribbon on the side and with these items up top. And that's basically how the data is going to be uh, used and entered. Whereas in the desktop version, you've got this kind of uh, home screen, which gives us a flow chart of what's going on. And then we have the old kind of drop down menus which work really well on, on a desktop version. These drop downs are, are kind of like the way Microsoft uh, Office products used to be before like the ribbon was there. We have these drop downs that work pretty well. And then uh, we have this flow chart. If you're explaining things to someone or if you're new to QuickBooks, this flow chart really helps because it'll, it'll give you an idea of the processes that we're going to go through, the correct process that should be happening within QuickBooks. Uh, it also gives you this open windows field, which the desktop version has so that I can, I can go through the different windows that are currently open. I also find that to be uh, very useful and very, very helpful. So many of the operations are, are going to be the same. I tend to prefer the desktop version look and feel. This could be a personal preference because I've, I've worked with it longer than the online version. So maybe as I work with the online version, I will uh, get used to the look and feel and prefer it at some point. But uh, for, at this point in time, I still prefer the, the desktop version. And when explaining it to, to new users, I prefer this uh, homepage because that really gives a good idea of what QuickBooks is actually uh, doing. For more accounting information and accounting courses, visit our website at accountinginstruction.info.